Hey, how's it going, everybody? For today's video, we're going to be playing Cougs in our $4,500 tournament. Now, this tournament is being hosted by Kyle. There's plenty, plenty of names that you guys are familiar with. So there's going to be a lot of uh, games that you're going to see over here on the YouTube channel, maybe even on the Twitch side of things, just depending on the time we're able to get these games in. But this should be a lot of fun, especially with money on the line. So the way this league is realistically working, we have a team overall cap. You can only have 85 overall but you have to play it smart. And the way we're doing it is trying to be as smart as possible. We got Mike Trout in right field. We got Mickey Mantle in center. In left field, we got Joe Adele. Harry Sheffield at third. Gold Correa, Gold Glaber. Big Meat Pete makes his return. JD Martinez is over, and he's a DH. In this league, we have DHs. And behind the plate, we got Harry Sanchez. For our starting rotation for right now, since we are early on, our only two starters that are worth any, like, to even mention we got nate pearson who we're gonna give a try and against against Coog. so we get a good look and i got a new controller so i have actually been pitching a lot better it is a night and day difference but because i'm saying that odds are you're now gonna see me throw a crap ton of balls but knock on wood hopefully that does not happen nate pearson shohei otani we still have charlie morton for long relief we have the uh silver vita blue he's pretty solid in a pinch we got mo we got chapman we got Adavino. And we got the newly acquired Raleigh Smell My Fingers. Now, I should go without saying, if you don't know who Coogs is, check the links in the description down below. Both his Twitch and YouTube will be in there. Highly recommend go check him out. Good dude. Better content creator. Still waiting to get in this game. Come on, Coogs. If you guys are looking for more MLB The Show 20 tips, tricks, gameplay, competitive content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to turn on those notifications as well. Now, I just got word from Coogs. Oh, this man's ready to sweat it out he is doing us a good favor and he's throwing kluber and again these games are on legend we need to choose a park that is both good but not too good where the good okays are leaving ah, what park do we want to go at i know he loves that park we're gonna go to iron horse cock stadium come on nate i'm gonna need you because he's throwing kluber my cool i'm doing what you're doing we're just hey get that lineup ready baby you get it ready we're just messing around. We're, we're just going back and forth just like you. There we go. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Now we're into the game. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't show the screen. We already saw his team definitely loaded offensively because this is his first game of this tournament. So he's going to have a much better squad than us in terms of both offensively. And, I mean, he's using Kluber. I'm trying to reserve Kluber for when I run into, you know, players like uh, Kyle. Um pitching rebel go down the list because there's a lot of other top players in here i need to be able to beat coos when he's using kluber and we got nate pearson by the way we changed our pitching angle so this could either go really well or really really bad because i haven't really used nate pearson enough to get any sort of idea about how easy he is to control what i may have to do got it got to pucker up manga slider slider down the middle but it may work get us a double play turn it Turn it good. Turn one, two. Can we get three, four? We give up a run. My Nate Pearson hit a spy at a boy. I mean, here's what's funny. I throw a slider down the middle. He, maybe he got too excited. Hits into the double play. I'm throwing dots. He's getting hits on those. All right, Coos, you like the high stinky cheese? Blah, blah. Oh, yeah. I swear to God, though, too, on Legend on this, it seems so much slower. It is not like Legend in ranked seasons, at least in my opinion. Maybe, maybe because it's super smooth. But I got to find new timing windows for this. And that is going to be a routine pop up. We're going to probably have ourselves at one, two, three inning for about two innings in a row before we figure out what the hell we're doing. And we got a pitch to hit. We just missed it. But I'll take it because at least that at bat, we had good timing on every pitch he threw us, but just hit him foul. Hopefully we get ourselves another quiet inning. Give him no hits. The other thing is, too, we have to pitch well. We need pearson to go at least six seven innings before i'm confident and we also of course need to get run so first pitch slider not even close and we're gonna throw a five pitch walk i told you the moment i get positive about my pitching yesterday we finally did well you're gonna see at least 10 walks good slider good pitch yeah that might not be oh my god we're alive hit a spot hit a spot where's that going unintentional dots yeah that's a good pitch okay that hung a lot all right so much for the whole uh 
we fix pitching kind of thing i have noticed curveballs change ups you try and hit a spot in the dirt it will still hang gotta be careful of that there is no reason for that did perfect input i knew what i wanted i could at least get a game could at least do it that's a good pitch blow by that's a good slider oh we had him we almost got out of it ah, that's probably not it yep so that hanging curveball that we had no part in doing it does come back to haunt us it already cost us at least one run is it gonna cost us more man that is three pitches in a row that did not even miss by a hair like literally the blue can eat my balls and well that's gonna be ball four. oh now make the play okay i mean that makes up for it he, he bailed us out we threw a slider i didn't think he was even gonna be close but we're down by one and thankfully only one after that hanging curveball we need to at least get that back right here middle of our lineup come on sheffield we end up pretty much all over it but just a hair on top roll it over to third one down and then get a pitch that we do want and miss it that's what you love to see two down okay what in the hell is going on in center and we're gonna drive that one we finally got an oopsie we do drive it fortunately though it didn't get under it enough are we gonna get hosed that second thank god we barely are gonna slide in there safely another hit should get us a run here's it just get it up the middle baby we're pushing it home we gotta get this one run 43 speed should easily get on in there we get our tie game right on back one to one god if i miss a pitch down the middle i'm striking out that at bat because now i'm in my own head damn it come on execute ah! gonna be real i mean jesus christ the hits that we give up they're just they're on the ground could get lucky could get a double play we're getting him to slap it just need it to find a human soul but what i was gonna say is pearson's been doing well for me he's gonna stay he's gonna stay on the team even for ranked seasons he's stealing he got a great jump and that is honestly you can't even blame pearson that's a good hit i don't even know if that's in the strike zone if i'm gonna be completely honest that's just a good ass hit now if it's out of the strike zone cougs eat a bag of dicks but yeah cougs eat a bag of dicks now bury the curveball i swear to god if i get good input again and you hang it which you did why is it in the strike zone game that's gonna be a triple isn't it are right, we gonna hose him at third all right makes up for itself it makes up for itself cougs thank you that curveball man all right his curveball you just i gotta like legitimately throw it 30 feet out in front of the plate and then maybe we get what we want but we are now back down by two going to the bottom of the third we hit kluber pretty well in the second that's gonna be a high scoring game on his end and then we're gonna absolutely rope one perfect perfect right to the shortstop one down and we got a fastball up we turn on it pci is there but it did get stopped by whatever you want to call it because it was a ball couldn't get it there we were there two down and we're gonna roll that as it through this shift we get it through the shift now one really good hit we've already had one perfect perfect this inning and just missed a home run can we get an oopsie drive it on out we were there didn't get our hands in enough so that's going to be another fly out all the way almost to the track we're there we're making him work we're hitting the ball hard almost every at bat now it's, a, it's just a matter of time here's a curveball thank you that's why i wanted it the whole time way to execute buddy there we go that's a good slider dude he's ripping sliders out of the zone all right again you can't be mad at pearson this is good hitting that's not good Dude, throw sliders that are perfectly executed he'll get a hit you throw it down the middle he's struggling sounds like us honest to god that sounds just like me blow by maga pitch okay that didn't even end up remotely close to where i wanted it and the three two jesus i mean it would have been nice blue you could have at least hooked it up could have hooked it up with a swinging strike but ah oh, man i mean he's making me work i'm not even gonna lie about that we keep just missing our spots and then we thank god he fouled it off that's eh, gone only a base hit into right so at least it's only one run but all right well i need a pearson to have a good game and to be fair he's actually done really well who just made us pay for some mistakes not necessarily on our part but he also drove a slider out of the zone which yeah that cost us so we're gonna honestly have to get the bullpen warm already because against Corey kluber i gotta keep this hit. we gotta get out of this 
All right, somebody fire the blue. Get him out of this game. You suck. Oh, you, you want to call that one a strike? Thanks, blue. Appreciate it. Finally get out of it. Surprisingly, we are only after how bad that inning went. We're only down by four. That is a way to do it. Like I said, we've been on him. It's just a matter of time. We're going to get those runs. Go to second. Men on second. Nobody down. I'm going to get very mad at this game in a damn second. This. Come on. I'm facing Kluber. You can give me the hit. And you already know damn well. He's getting stranded at third. Every time. Dude, I got to find a way to let these things go. I'm very mad. That is going to be ripped. Can we at least get a loud out? Or his mantle? mantle is easily going to be able to track that down. One down. For this inning right here, we got two lefties. We already got one down. Could be really risky, but honestly, at this point, have to try and get some pitchers that I don't want to use to get some much needed innings. Keep it close. At this point, I'm conceding to the idea. If we lose, we're going to lose. We haven't had the best luck. I'm not going to try and push the envelope and waste pitching that I may need for other games. That's the downside to this. If it was an all-out sweat friendly, totally different mindset. I'm going to try and beat you other times. Like right now, I have to play it smart. I'm going to have to bring in a silver and hopefully they shut you down. But we have to try and get more lucky on the hitting side of things. Come on, full count. Thank you. We get a routine grounder over to first. Two down. But here's the thing. In this tournament, everyone's going to be bringing out Kluber to face me. It's just, I'm going to have to learn how to hit him better. Although, some games I absolutely rope him. This game, we've hit him hard. Just got to find a way to get them to land bottom of our lineup. Get a couple hits with them. Get two runners on before we get to the top. Oh, we're in business. Got to get that to happen. Come on, give me a stupid hit. Let's go. <laughs> got to rely on some stupid hits right now. And I'm going to take him. Now, a baby, Glaber. You hit a perfect, perfect last time for routine ground ball. Now we go deep. I said it's a matter of time. Kluber, get the lube out, baby. We're coming for you. Oh, really? Damn it. Just missed yet again. One down. So we're going to get the home run thing that they have yet to fix off the screen. We're going to need Raleigh to get a couple innings. Maybe Vita Blue comes out for a batter and then we go Raleigh. Raleigh's going to need, we're going to need a couple. All right. On two pitches, just missed two pitches. Two down. Mickey Mantis gets a base hit. And that one, again, interesting. We're getting our hits when we're not necessarily the best on the ball. But one good swing right here. Harry Sheffield send us with a tie. Oh, you are so lucky. That is three just misses with two great swings mixed in. Actually, you know what? Also throwing one terrible swing by Correa. They got him on base. But... How to make him pay, man. That was the inning for us to thrive. First out's important here, Vita. First out is important. I see one more person check swing. I'm going to lose my mind. And then we throw a single right down the middle. We at least get a loud out over here. Mike Trout with the range. One down. This is an interesting game because I'm bringing out pitchers I've never used before. Never used Vita. Never used Nate Pearson. Never have used this Raleigh. Literally got him last night at four in the morning. Ah. Gonna have to learn how to control him, especially if he sends sinker. But I'll take the two line outs. Full count. We need a dot. We got the dot. Is he gonna get a base hit? Thank God. Got him to hit it weakly. Rolled it over. Back down by three, however. Out of the heart of the lineup, we got Alonzo Martinez. Both of them have line outs. They both have really good hits. Find a gap. We're back in it. Yeah. Like we're either killing the ball or doing that, which is I hate it. Oh my god. Just missed. Again. Alright, I gotta relax. We're taking it, we're taking a step back. When I get frustrated, I swing like an absolute idiot. Take a step back. We need to get Kluber's pitch count up. Because going later into the game, especially our last three at bats with the seventh, eighth, and ninth, lower his energy. Not only the bigger the PCI gets, but the more likely he's to make mistakes. Everything goes up. Even when he squared up, the ball will leave up just much better. Got to get him lower. Got to make him work. Got to make him work. Swing at another ball. Love it. 
and right into this shift so i mean we had two at bats just missed doubles down the lines can't do anything about it beat the shift just missed he's got Stardust sheffield torres definitely 100 if we're gonna win this game quiet innings need to happen right now raleigh smell my fingers great pitch yeah! my good oh coos i really don't like you right now that's a good slider thank god i mean i need raleigh he keeps he's doing what i need to do which is drag on the at bats force him to throw a lot of pitches get kluber down and i bet you he's probably got raleigh or somebody in the bullpen to bring out next we just we gotta find a way to stack up the hits i mean there's a clear difference if i could use raleigh if i could use kluber all game that would have been fantastic but right now gotta go with what we got and that is just you yeah if i just miss one more time i'm gonna lose my damn mind that one just off the end of our bat early okay out in front two quick outs yeah it's a good sinker dot yeah it's a good split bring him up not another check swing come on you suck blue full count raleigh we need it okay well whoa, whoa pete alonzo gold glove defense i thought that was going foul surprised i stayed in play but if we don't do anything this inning we're definitely screwed going to the ninth we're thankful to be the home team gotta get at least one to two runs gotta put up some because last all game we were on them last few innings definitely have been off and we're back to off but I, can i get a cheesy hit come on cody <sighs> i am so off right now at least some of that's gone we get one again oddly enough the ones that we keep getting reward rewarded for not really on the ball the best we do get one that was our goal keep capitalizing again i gotta see who your bullpen is because i want to know who i gotta get ready for because he's coming he's 100 coming opponent's bullpen he doesn't even have anybody warmed but does have Adovino, does have chapman osuna that's really all he's got all of those two i hit well just gotta get kluber out of the game so he actually doesn't have a good bullpen got and he knows he knows he's gonna have to rely on kluber right here come on we gotta get him out of this game sheffield that's what we needed back to back tanks kluber i'm telling you we're back i think last time i said that i shit the bed please another solo shot tied up he's nervous he's nervous he's nervous no hit him damn it uh, the one time i would have loved the pitcher wall dude we drove two balls on the outside corner again like our timing on the outside pitch is always just a hair late because we keep missing the doubles down the line Come on, JD, go deep. I suck. JD, get out, ball. Let's go. Get off me, ball. Tie game. Don't understand why it's good. Okay, but either way, still a home run tie game. Let's go. Give us the lead right here, Gary Sanchez. No. No. Damn it. Dude, we just missed a home run again with Gary. Got another oopsie right after. Just missed that one as well. But tie game. He's got his heart in the lineup up. Probably, though, is low on energy. And the rest of my bullpen, not necessarily the biggest of fans. We're going to try and get a couple outs here with Raleigh. This, this could be a really bad idea. Go, bitch. Yeah. No, Raleigh's becoming hard to control. I'm not liking this. My hit a spot, baby. Dude, this blue dude f you blue three two just good eye at the end of the day dude i will give it to you that's a good eye got lucky on that dude the amount of balls that just miss like he's making me work and i hate you for it i feel like Adovino, ah, dude ah, this is this scary situations here because again Adovino, he's not bad but he's got oh god oh god my good change up and a boy and a boy my good pitch yeah honestly probably wouldn't have been a terrible idea to go chapman but one good pitch from getting out of this which is only one terrible pitch from having this inning blow the hell up scary situations how do you know i need strikes baby girl Coo, swing the bat come on come on good pitch 
Oh. Oh. My good to see him. No, don't spoil it, Cougs. Come on. Put it in play weekly, preferably weekly. I'm going to challenge him. I think this is a terrible idea, but we're doing it. Yeah. Challenging him paid off. Bottom of the ninth. We're the home team. Tied in the hit column. Tied in the run column. Why is it you three who start off every inning? I don't care. Somebody clutch up. And he brings out his own Adovino. Not going to lie. That might have been a really good move because we, we started getting our timing down big time. Korea, get out, Paul. Come on. <laughs> of course, it's going to read okay. Oh, come on. Dude, yeah, bringing him out. That cutter, I read it, and that thing is still... It's an Ephus. And I feel like... Yeah. Back end of his lineup. We're going into extras. Adovino, we need a clutch inning out of you, baby. Clutch. Like, here's the difference between me and Cougs right now. He's being an absolute pest. I'm bailing him the hell out. Next inning, you're going to need to call a raid because I'm going to be the biggest pest rodent in the game. You're going to throw a strike, buddy. I'm done swinging at your balls. I love your balls, though, Cougs. I love your balls. No. Woo. Wow. That is uh, not, not the pitch you want to throw. Two down. Come on. We need to get Cody B. Blow by. Old faithful. Yeah! Now it's our hard to line up. We're gonna be a rodent. Oh, I'm not gonna do the whole one strike thing, but you're gonna, you're gonna, there's gonna be an oopsie, and I'm not missing it. And we draw the walk. Told you we're gonna be a rodent. Come on, mantle. Come on, baby. No double plays. Stay fair, please. And check swing fail, dude. Dude, hitting over again. Sheffield. Yep, inning over. <sighs> Please. Pete, get up, ball. Don't be off the wall. It's off the wall. Oh, no. Send him home. We're challenging it. We got to. 83 speed. He's going to be safe. Let's go, Pete. Just misses the home run. We walk it off. Oh, my God. Big meat, Pete. We end up winning versus Kluber. We end up finally tattooing him in the eighth. We've been all... Of, uh, this was just a weird game. We were on him. We were off of him. We would get some rewards. We would not. That game is frustrating. But we got the W. So thank God we end up winning that one. That one took about three years off my life. But again, good news. We learned that we like Nate Pearson. We learned that we like Raleigh Fingers. Both of them definitely staying on the God Squad. Nate Pearson did really well. Who's made him pay, though, for some pitches out of the zone? Like, you can't be mad at Pearson for that. I mean, it was just great pitches, good hitting. Fortunately, though, again, I mean, they were well executed out of the zone. They just got hammered. You can't do anything about that. Maybe it was Cougs looking for that pitch. He knew what was coming. I don't know. But, hey, at the end of the day, I love Pearson. Love Raleigh. All the pitching that we went to, Adovino did a good job for us. Uh, our offense finally came alive in the eighth. Gary Sheffield was two for five with a home run, a double, a ribby. JD, two for four with a home run and a double. Mickey Mantle, two for five. Glaber with a two-run shot. Much-needed home runs came at the best times. Also, surprisingly, I don't know why Big Meat Pete isn't a notable player, but the man hit the walk-off. You might want to put him in there, game. Come on. But again, go ahead and check out Kuz. His links to his Twitch and YouTube. He does it both. If for some odd reason, you're here and you don't know. I'm amazed. I mean, I don't know how you found me but not him but just in case again links in those descriptions highly recommend check him out good dude love him to death we see each other in real life just again all around good good guy love talking to him too he's funny as hell but on that note thank you guys for watching this incredible sweaty ass game if you enjoyed today's content you want to see more of these games especially against rebel kyle hit that like button and we'll be sure to upload them you guys have a good day thank you